Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm joined today by Dan Blundell from Nano One. Dan, you guys are in the lithium space and there's so much coverage of lithium right now. What is it about Nano One that is different? I think uh, where we differ from uh, the, the rest of the industry is that we are focusing on manufacturing techniques that will uh, improve uh, the raw material inputs and the, uh, the outputs, which are basically the cathode materials. The stocks had a great year, a little bit less so in the last few months, but the stocks had a great year. People are excited about the space. Why should investors own your company? Well, we've had a, a tradition, we've had long-term shareholders in the company who've, who've been long and been supportive all the way. We've been hitting our milestones uh, one after the other, and uh, we believe we're going to continue to do so into 2017 and 18. If investors are looking at owning the stock today, uh, is that what should they be watching for moving forward? Well, it would, there's going to be continual uh, development of technology that we're bringing to the market. We're going to be uh, bringing improvements to cathode materials. We're going to be looking at ways to incorporate lithium feedstocks into the, into the process that others can't. And uh, we will uh, ultimately be working with strategics to try and develop collaborative relationships, licensing deals. And we believe a lot of these things will come into play into, in early in 2018. So are automakers going to be your primary target, or is it broader than that? It, it's broader than that. I'd say the, the auto sector, of course, is very hot right now, where everyone's thinking about it and talking about electric vehicle batteries. Uh, we're definitely very focused on that, but uh, we're not ignoring the other battery uh, markets, which include storage for renewables like wind and solar, and also battery materials for uh, niche markets, let's say like drones or, or, or other consumer electronic markets as well. And they are different types of cathode materials, but they're still lithium-ion battery uh, uh, materials that we can make with our process. Canada's got a real leadership role in lithium, and we've got a number of people getting close to the production, you know, and, and should see more and more production coming online. With that being the case, do you see any opportunities coming out of what the needs of the lithium producers will be? Absolutely. In fact, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, interested in what we can do in Canada in terms of developing cathode materials and even putting production facilities in place. Um, there are facilities in Quebec right now, and obviously it's a very friendly jurisdiction. And that's certainly one avenue that we, uh, we could see um, coming uh, into play for us. So what particular opportunities do you see with strategics? So let's start upstream. We see a possibility of using lithium sources that others can't use. For instance, lithium carbonate going into high nickel batteries. We see opportunities with strategics in developing cathode facilities uh, for, the, for the production of, of cathode materials, so putting our technology in place to build a, a wide range of different cathode materials. And then lastly, adding value to the cathode material itself. So this is making a cathode material that, that others can't make um, that uh, are more compatible with solid state batteries. And we're talking with a few big players on that front. And also uh, improving the durability of materials so they last longer. You get more charges out of the material. And we've got some very interesting technology coming, to, uh, coming into play right now. Well, I think it's a really interesting story and a great opportunity for investors that are looking to uh, participate in both the lithium and the electric vehicle market. So thank you very much for the update, and we'll look forward to hearing more as we move forward. Well, thank you very much. It's, I'm glad to be here, and I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.